Hey guys, today we're going to make the perfect Amalfi lemon dessert. It's a vanilla she boost with a lemon interior made from lemon gel and a confit lemon peels. We're serving that with a lemon cocktail, vanilla ice cream, meringues and a lemon peel tria. So, let's begin. Amalfi lemons are really incredible. They're massive and the flavor is so good. Just look at the difference between a store-bought lemon and an Amalfi one. If you're not able to get them, I would suggest using biological lemons. First, a lemon cocktail. Peel 5 lemons and transfer the peels into a preserving jar. Now cover this completely with a half a liter of vodka and also add 2 empty vanilla pots. Make sure everything is submerged. Then cover the jar and let it marinate for at least one week at room temperature. Now for the sweet lemon gel. Zest 2 lemons into a saucepan and then cut the zested lemons in half. Now juice them for 150 grams of lemon juice. Also add 60 grams of water, 20 grams of ginger syrup, 100 grams of sugar, 4 grams of agar powder and 3 grams of gelan powder. Then mix this well and then bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Once it has boiled, pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it into a smooth gel. Transfer half of the gel into a piping bottle and the rest you can keep for later. Then for the comfy lemon peel. First peel 3 lemons with a citrus peeler. Just start at the top and peel it all around. Now cut those peels in really small cubes. After that we need to blanch the peels 3 times. Every time you need to get new water and let them blanch for around 30 seconds. This will remove the bitter flavor of the peels, leaving you with a beautiful aromatic and rich flavor. Once that's done, add 100 grams of sugar and 200 grams of water. Bring these to a simmer and then let them confit on a low heat till a syrup starts to form. After that, pour it into a bowl and let them cool down completely. Meanwhile, take the two zested lemons and cut away the peels. Now cut just beside the membrane and then flip the knife to remove the flesh. Then use a tweezer to remove any lemon seeds. After, cut them in smaller pieces and then add them to the confit peels. Also add the remaining lemon gel and then mix it. Once that's done, fill your desired interior mold. All molds in this video are from Mold Brothers. Find a link in the description of this video. Then let it set in your freezer. After that, remove them from the mold and keep them in your freezer for later. Now for the vanilla she boost. First, soak 3 leaves or 5 grams of gelatin in cold water. Then pour 250 grams of cream into a saucepan and also add 60 grams of egg yolk and 25 grams of cornstarch. Now cut a vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add the seeds and the empty vanilla pot to the cream and while stirring heat this up till it has thickened. It needs to look like this. Then remove the vanilla pot. Now dissolve the gelatin and mix it well. After that pour it into a bowl and set it aside for later. Now pour 30 grams of water into a saucepan together with 60 grams of sugar. Heat this up till the sugar is 118 degrees celsius. Meanwhile pour 50 grams of egg white into a mixing bowl and start beating it. When a white foam starts to form, add 10 grams of sugar. Then when the sugar is 118 degrees celsius, slowly add it to the meringue. Make sure to pour it on the side. Now beat it for 2 minutes. After, add the meringue to the vanilla cream and fold it together till it's a smooth and airy shibust. Now fill your lemon mold almost all the way to the top and tap it a couple of times to remove any air bubbles. Then press the lemon interior in the shibust and make it level using a palette knife. Now let it set in your freezer. Then for the lemon peel tweezers. First peel a couple of lemons. Only peel the skin and not the pit. This is very bitter. Now spread it on a tray and then let it dry at 60 degrees celsius or in a microwave at 600 watt for around 7 minutes. Once the peels are dry, transfer them into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Keep it dry and covered for later. Then mix 60 grams of egg white with 40 grams of sunflower oil 10 grams of butter, 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of sugar. Blend this till you have a smooth batter. Then spread it on a tweezer mold and level the top with a pellet knife. Now dust the thin layer of the lemon peel powder on top and bake them at 150 degrees celsius for around 50 minutes till baked but not colored. Then keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the meringue. First mix 50 grams of water with 80 grams of sugar and heat this up till it is 118 degrees celsius. Meanwhile pour 80 grams of egg white into a mixing bowl and start beating it. Once a white foam starts to form, slowly add 60 grams of sugar to stabilize the egg white. 
Then when the syrup is 118 degrees Celsius, add it to the meringue and beat it for a couple of minutes to cool it down till it's at room temperature. Now transfer half of the meringue into a bowl and add a touch of yellow coloring powder to color the meringue. Then pipe the remaining meringue in thick lines on a piece of foil and pipe the yellow meringue in between. Now gently roll this up and then transfer it into a piping bag that's fitted with a round nozzle. Then pipe small dots on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet or some parchment paper. Now let them dry at 60 degrees Celsius for a couple of hours till completely crispy and hard. Then for the vanilla ice cream. Pour 1100 grams of milk into a saucepan together with 300 grams of cream, 340 grams of sugar and 65 grams of skimmed milk powder. Now cut a vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add both the seeds and the pot to the pan, mix it and then heat it up till it starts to simmer. Meanwhile, transfer 60 grams of egg yolk into a bowl and mix it with 4 grams of ice cream stabilizer. I use Step 2000. Now while stirring, slowly add half of the hot liquid to the yolks. One smooth, while stirring pour it back into the pan and then heat it up till it's 85 degrees Celsius. Then let it rest in your fridge for at least 12 hours. I always leave it overnight. Once that's done, pour it into an ice cream machine and turn it into a beautiful ice cream. After that, let it set for 30 minutes in your freezer and then it's ready to be served. Now for the chocolate brush. First, melt 200 grams of cocoa butter on a low heat. Meanwhile, mix 200 grams of white chocolate with 2 grams of yellow fat soluble coloring powder. Then pour the melted cocoa butter on the white chocolate and emulsify it with a hand blender till smooth. Once smooth, pour it into a brush machine. Then gently remove the shaboots from the mold and lay them on a frozen tray. Lay them with the bottom up and brush an even layer of the chocolate brush all around. Once they're brushed, lay them on a plate and let them defrost for around 20 minutes or slowly in your fridge. Now we only need to finish the cocktail. First take two of the peeled lemons and cut them in half. Now juice them. Then add some of the lemon vodka and season it with ginger syrup. This one I just mix on taste, because the last time I gave a cocktail recipe, you all said I was an alcoholic. So just do whatever you like. Now add a touch of centum gum and mix it to bind the liquid a bit. Then we can start to finish the dessert. First fill the sheet boost with the lemon cocktail. Then pipe two dots of the gel on top and lay the lemon tweed on the other side. Now decorate the gel with the meringue and marigold flowers. Then place a nice canal of the ice cream on the tweed and place another tweed on top. Decorate that one as well with the lemon gel, a meringue and some marigold flower petals. Okay guys, that's it for today. I am super happy with the result. The dessert looks absolutely incredible. And if you think that we started out with a lemon as beautiful as this one and turned it into well, kind of a replica, maybe I can cut it in half and then we can have a little look. Yeah, you can see the beautiful texture on the inside, the beautiful smell as well. And that's exactly the same. The only, the only flavor I, actually, I added is the, the, the vanilla, but I think it doesn't need anything else. Maybe the meringue, you can also call it a flavor. Um, but for me, it doesn't need anything else. So let's just dig in because the ice cream is melting. I already ate way too much ice cream. Um, and it has become soft already, but that's okay because it is still very delicious. Let's take a lot of Shibust as well, because that Shibust is also so good. Mm. That's super good. The Shibust, it melts in your mouth. And for me, it really needs to be like this, because otherwise it's just too jelly-like. And now it melts in my mouth. Um, it goes perfectly with the filling, to with the interior of the, the citrus, of the, of the lemon. Uh, the confit, the segments and the gel, very good. Flavor wise, I think for me it's, it's a 10 because of the vanilla, the creaminess and the freshness of the citrus. Uh, for me this is a, it's a perfect dessert. And those little meringues, yeah, that's just fun. Um, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the dish as well, or that you're going to enjoy it. Let me know in the comments on what I should make next. 
like and share the video and please subscribe if you want to support my channel we're almost at 100k can't believe it so like and subscribe and i hope to see you next time and as always bon appetit